In this tutorial, I'll show you the basic features of Virtor Wallet for Android. This type of wallet does not require a copy of the blockchain on the user side. It is a light wallet that connects to a server to get blocks information and validate transactions. This makes it easier to maintain and run. So, first we need to download and install it from the Google Play Store. In case you don't have access to Google services, you can also download it from our GitHub. I'll just go ahead and do that. It finished, so we're going to open it. For now, we want to create a new wallet. A recovery phrase is automatically generated. This group of words in this specific order is what gives the owner full access to the funds. I'm going to write it down in a piece of paper. Note that this phrase is being used here for educational purposes only. Do not deposit any XVG to it. After that, I will enter my phrase here. This step is essential to detect any misspellings that may have occurred while writing down the words. Now, I'm going to create a password to protect the wallet on my daily use. Obviously, a stronger password is recommended here. This password will be required to send coins. I will add my fingerprint and a pin code to safely unlock the wallet whenever needed. We're almost ready. As you can see, Verge app requires Orbot to run. Orbot is the Android app of Tor project. It uses Tor network to encrypt your internet traffic and then hides it by bouncing it through a series of computers around the world, ensuring users' privacy while making payments with Verge. I just need to install it. And now run the app. We need to define which apps run through Orbot. In this case, we want Verge Wallet, so we pick it here on Tor Enabled Apps. Now, to start Orbot, we just need to turn on VPN mode here. We wait a little and we can see it's ready. We can now open Verge Wallet by tapping the icon. If we refresh the balance, we now get a connection, but zero balance. What we're going to do next is request a payment. So we go to the Receive tab and we already have a receiving address generated. We copy it and share it with the person that's making the payment. We can also share the address as a QR code or even add the amount to be paid by entering it here. After the payment's done, we refresh the balance tab and it shows up. We just got 100 XVG. Now that we have some Verge coins in our wallet, we can make a payment. We go to the Send tab and write the address we want to send to. Obviously, the best way to do this is by copying the address and pasting it. We can also scan the QR code of the address we want to pay to. Then the amount we want to send, 100 XVG. Note that there's a transaction fee of 0.1 XVG. This fee is a reward for the miners supporting Verge Network. So we will be sending only 99.9 .9 XVG. We hit the send button. Now we need to enter our password and confirm. The amount was sent. We just need to wait a few seconds until the transaction gets confirmed. And here we go. Our balance is zero again. All these steps we went through are the basic features you can expect on this wallet. Before we finish, let's just take a look at what can be found on settings. When we click on account details, it shows our public key. If we go to sweep wallet, 
there's the possibility of transferring coins from a paper wallet or other to our Android wallet by entering the private key. When we go to settings and then transaction fees, it shows us what we've just experienced a 0.1 XVG fee for a transaction. We can see our recovery phrase, we just need to unlock it with our password. Here it is. We can also set a static receiving address. By default, and for privacy purposes, a new receiving address is generated every time we make a transaction. If we tap Restore Wallet, we can restore it using our recovery phrase and follow the same process. This is it. Feel free to leave your feedback on the comment section. I hope this tutorial was clear enough for anyone that wants to start using Verge on Android.